Hello and welcome to the news update on Enterprise TV. I'm Choma Okohe. We'll begin with the latest updates from the leadership crisis threatening the soul of Nigeria's main opposition party, the PDP, as a federal high court in Abuja has restrained the National Executive Committee, NAC, and Board of Trustees, BOT, of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, from removing Umar Damagam as the party's acting national chair. In a judgment delivered via Zoom on Friday, Peter Lefo, the presiding judge, ordered that aside Damagam, no other person must be recognized as the PDP national chair until the party's convention scheduled for December 2025. A function of the National Working Committee and the BC of the party had suspended Umar Damagam, the acting national chairman. In a statement issued early Friday morning, Debo Oluguagba, the PDP spokesperson, said the NWC also suspended Samuel Anyamo, the national secretary. He said both politicians were suspended over alleged anti-party activities in Rivers State. A federal high court judge in Abuja, Binta Yanko, has reaccepted the treasonable felony case involving Inandekano, the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, after withdrawing from it last month. The latest development is courtesy of an exclusive report or an exclusive report by Nigerian online newspaper Premium Times. The report adds that Justice Yanko may resume sitting on the matter anytime soon, barring any unforeseen development. And this comes less than three weeks after Kano, who has been facing charges arising from his separatist activities for the section of the Republic of Biafra from Nigeria since 2015 pressured Yanko to rescue herself from the nine-year-old case. The Borono state government says six repentant Boko Haram insurgents have escaped. And in a statement on Thursday, Usman Ta, the state's commissioner for information and internal security, said the escapees who surrendered through the state's reconciliation program fled without weapons. He noted that the escapees were among more than 20,000 militants recently processed and categorized as low risk. He said the number of escapees is small when juxtaposed with the number of those who have been successfully reintegrated. And Ta urged the public to avoid sensationalizing the matter, adding that doing so would empower terrorists and hinder ongoing counter insurgency measures. And lastly, on the foreign scene, an Israeli airstrike killed at least 22 persons in central Beirut on Thursday as Israeli ground troops in Lebanon were accused of firing on the UN's peacekeeping headquarters, injuring two blue helmets. And the raid on Beirut was the third of such attack on the center of the Lebanese capital since Israel escalated its campaign last month. Lebanon's health minister issued the updated death toll and said the number of injured had risen to 117. A Lebanese security says, without giving photo details, said a Hezbollah figure was targeted after a series of killings of top officials. And most Israeli airstrikes have targeted the South Beirut area, not the city's center. That's all on the news at this time. Many thanks for watching. I'm Choma Okohe. Bye for now. Enterprise TV, a tradition of truth.